Hi everyone, I just thought I would make another video with quite an important um, bit of information because a lot of people have come across this fault and um, it might not be their own fault. Garages have been known to get this wrong as well. So it's very common and it's all to do with the fitting a new cam belt or timing belt and the alignment of the pulleys getting it correct with um, in terms of the engine timing and the reason for the error is because the markings on the engine are not quite as conventional as you might think the mark for the exhaust camshaft is this marking here which is perfectly level with the um, top of the head. But the mark for the inlet camshaft is not quite at the top. It's, it's basically one tooth lower with the pulley. Now the reason for this I think was, was basically a cost cutting measure that they did. The both pulleys are identical. It's not like you've got a pulley for the inlet cam or the exhaust cam. They're both exactly the same pulleys. So I think rather than making two different pulleys with two different markings, um, they've just changed. You know, this is the difference here. There's a slight difference in, in height on that. Um, on that marker and the issue is it looks easy from here but when the engines mounted in the end you know under the bonnet and you're standing there trying to look trying to get a good view it's not easy to see you can't really stand back far enough to notice that it's not in line now there is an easy way to do it The first way is to buy a belt made by Gates and the part number is 5259XS. Now this belt has marking lines on the belt. So if you line up those marks on the belt with the marks on the pulleys, you can't go wrong. But that's the only belt that does. So what I would suggest if you buy a, another belt, another brand belt, is to make the markings yourself. So the uh, first thing to do will be to make a mark on the belt in any position you wish. Now I will pre-marked this belt. You can see there the white the white marker. That's just a little bit of white uh, white paint. So the first mark you put anywhere you desire. Then you have to count forty four teeth on the belt. Now I'll try and hold this up so you can see it. Inlet pulley to exhaust pulley 44 teeth. So you count the belt on the teeth 44 make another mark. Do you see the mark there by my finger, by my thumb? So there's 44 belt teeth between those two marks. Then your final mark, you count a further 51 teeth. 
So exhaust pulley to crank pulley, 51 teeth. And the final mark down here. So all you do then is, obviously, you shouldn't really need to say this, it's pretty obvious, your belt mark lines up with the mark on the pulley. For the little crank pulley, the marker is there at the dimple. And with this method, the engine can be stopped in any position and, you know, the belt can come off, new belt can go on and it's definitely going to be correct with those lines, marker lines lining up with the dots on the pulleys. Um, now it's easy to, if, if you perhaps suspect that this is wrong, the alignment, it's quite easy to tell. The first of all, your emissions will be very high, and you won't pass an MOT test, um, no matter what you do, it will fail on emissions because it, it's all messing up the uh, the mixture, air fuel mixture. Um, another way to tell would be they tend to run a little bit hotter, so you're driving along, and the temperature gauge is always in the sort of that half ray range. Or even a bit above rather than being just under halfway and also at, just at ticking at tick over speed idle speed the engine will appear to sort of shake a little bit more it, you can just tell it's not quite right um, and then also as well it's down on power if you, the trouble is a lot of people haven't got the experience of driven lots of GTTIs you know if it's the only one you've ever had you, there's nothing to compare it to um, so any symptoms like that anything a bit weird you think I can't get this car set up properly it doesn't run right then definitely um, check that the alignment is correct with this belt um, some people say that they can jump jump a tooth where it was actually set correctly but then it perhaps wasn't tensioned and tight enough and it can actually jump. I've never actually, I've, I've not experienced that myself. It's always been down to um, installation error when I've come across it. Um, so hopefully that will, you know, it is a very common, whenever there's a new owner comes on the notice boards or whatever, and they, they first go about changing the, the cam belt you know, you always have to make a point of, of checking this and watching out for this. It's so simple to, um, well, it's so easy to get it wrong.